Now from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. So stepping in for Boston, King Tejada. There's a sense of anticipation in the ballpark as everyone waits to see if he can inch closer to the consecutive game hitting streak. There's a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Pretty hot up there. And a swing and a miss there. Come on, stay hot up there. Let's go. Grounder might be two. There's one. And that's two. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5 4 3 double play. King Tejada up next for the Red Sox. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. Good eye right there. Keep going right here. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. One down, base is empty. Foul ball there. On the ground to third, and he grabs it in foul ground. Next pitch misses. Three and two now. Hey, one pitch. Make it yours. Ripped into right field. Base hit. The bat. The third base. And the streak lives on. He keeps getting closer and closer to the record. There isn't a pitcher in the league who can solve him right now. It's absolutely amazing, Boog. It seems there's no end in sight, and this is transcending baseball. We're talking almost two straight months with a hit every game. To get this close to the record, I want to see this thing happen, and it brings the kind of excitement to the sport that very few records do. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Bro, save! That's a stolen base. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. Runner! Runner on the go again. Got him swinging. Throw the third. Save! That wasn't close. Now back the first base. Cody Bellinger. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Struck out swinging his first time. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Down low, it kicks away. Runner stays put at third. That misses, and it's a full count. Brandon Lau waiting to bat for the Red Sox. Two outs and one in scoring position. Back to work, 3-2 now. Got him. That's his second strikeout. And the Red Sox lead one, but they hold a 1 0 lead. A 
Ada El Amadou digging in for the Rockies. Grounded out his first time. Two outs. Runner on the goal. Out to short. Tejada. Tosses to first. And that ends the inning. The Rockies strand one. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here in Denver, stepping in, the slugging shortstop, King Tejada. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Rollison, back to work. And that one fouled off. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. And that's a base hit into left field. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Rafael Devers up to hit. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Sneaks through. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Bellinger up to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Next pitch is outside. Tejada at third. Devers at first with no outs. And a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Reese Olsen up and throwing. Ford getting loose as well. And a pitch. Good eye right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Left hand hitter waits. Sets him down on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Lau at the plate. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. You got to look for something up in the zone. At worst case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. That one ripped. His seventh home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 5-zip. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Top of inning number seven. Now it's the shortstop, King Tejada. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie-in run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. The right-hander back to work. That one is absolutely belted. Carlson going back, back some more. Up against the wall and brings it in. Aloy Jimenez now. On the ground. And he punches one right back up the middle. That's what he does. Great contact. So a runner aboard to start the inning. And next for the Red Sox, King Tejada. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. And things could change quickly here with one swing. 
And the first well, offering is not close. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Swung on, belted. Carlson on the move, heading back. Back some more. And it's off the wall. Run comes in from second. It's 6-6. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Oh, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation. Now it's Devers at the plate. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Jack Weisenberger comes on now. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. And that one in the air center field. Diving, and he can't make the play. One runs in. Tejada doesn't stop. Heads for home. He'll score as well. And they take a two-run lead. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic. So when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you really put a great swing on it. And that was nicely done for extra bases. So digging in, Zach Veen. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. The 01. And he grounds one to the right side. Good feed. That's one. On to Bellinger. That's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. Final score of 8-6 to six in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.